State Senator Tony Avella's strong advocacy for animal rights, including the senator's efforts to prohibit through legislation the operation of horse-drawn cabs in New York City, was another issue we discussed. We wish to caution our viewers that some images of working carriage horses in New York City can be disturbing. We'd like to thank Win Animal Rights for their courtesy of the footage, a New York-based activist, nonprofit organization fighting for animal rights and the ban of horse-drawn cabs in New York City. Actina FM is a very pet-friendly uh, radio station, um, and I would like to commend you for your uh, advocacy, for your dedication, and for what you have done uh, uh, for animal rights uh, and to prevent animal abuse. And I know uh, you have worked on several bills, and I, one of them is um, uh, the establishment of a 5% uh, surcharge on the sale of animals by pet dealers and the Animal Shelter and Wildlife rehabilitator account to be administered by an animal protection organization to be chosen by the controller, the commissioner of taxation and finance. Let's talk about this bill. It's a very interesting bill. Well, it's basically a surcharge on pet sales so that the money from that could go into a fund to ensure um, that pets are treated properly, that there's proper free spay and neutering programs. Um, you know, it's interesting. Almost everybody I know except, I guess, me and my wife, actually has a pet. <laughs> the only reason we don't have a pet is we're so busy all the time. But, you know, uh, animals serve a very useful purpose. First of all, they're our partners yes. on this planet. And for many seniors, for example, or disabled individuals, handicapped individuals, uh, having a pet is a huge boost to their morale and of their course. health status. Yes. Um, we need to do more. Uh, there's actually um, a very important piece of legislation in Albany that I, I'm not the author of the bill, but I am a mm. co-sponsor. Devocalization. There's actually a practice going on now with certain, certain veterinarians who shouldn't be doing this where a person may bring their dog in, for example, to a vet mm -hmm. and say, my dog is barking too loud, and they cut the vocal cords. <gasps> oh, my God. Um, I was shocked to hear that this practice was going on. So we have a bill in Albany to prevent this from happening. Unfortunately, even though we did a major push, we, are, we weren't able to get it past the Why? Senate. Um, because the Veterinarians Association apparently lobbied very heavily Against this is the horrible. bill, the, 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 how, would I, they, I how would they like this. if they cut their vocal cords? I, I, I was <laughs> shocked to hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and you also know one of the the bills that I've been fighting for a long time now is to end the carriage horse industry in New York City. Yeah, you know this is controversial because people yes. look at it as a romantic practice, but the, the truth is the the carriage horse industry in, around Central Park has only existed since the 1940s. It hasn't been around for hundreds of years. Mm. And they were only allowed to go beyond Central Park in the late 1990s. So this is a recent new phenomenon where they can go as far as Times Square, depending upon the time of day. Oh, they didn't, I didn't know that they were going to Times Square now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? The, the later on in the day, the farther they can go. Mm. They're, they work nine hours a day, seven days a week, in all sorts of weather, yeah. and in technically in violation of the city regulations. It's the ASPCA, um, which supports a ban, has said there's no way for this industry to operate and properly care for the animal. Um, it's also a danger to motorists. There have been a number of accidents. Mm -hmm. People have been injured. Uh, horses are now, we've had a, so, a couple of situations where the horses just have collapsed in midtown traffic. I mean, there's a reason why horse-driven carriages don't exist anymore. Right. And to have them in midtown traffic, I think, is just insane. So that's something that I've been working on for a long time. And hopefully that will pass because, especially in, in, in the heat, uh, in the heat is right. it's horrible and it's not fair. You know, um, how about this dog fighting situation? We just passed the piece of legislation that uh, the governor signed, mm -hmm. um, based upon legislation we passed which would make it a crime now for dogfighting paraphernalia. There had been previous laws against dogfighting, but mm. what was happening is as soon as enforcement uh, personnel, whether it be police or animal mm. enforcement agents, would go to a scene where there was animal fighting, they would just stop. Mm. And then, you know, the officer has to see it actually, actually occur. I see. So this sort of... Uh, 
eliminates a loophole in the law by if by the time they get there, the fighting is stopped, but the paraphernalia is there, the arrest can be made and the paraphernalia can be seized. So the governor just signed that into law. Oh, great.